log cosines today. Um, but it's really the same thing. All, the main thing that you'll talk about, which I will give you a thing, is whenever you have, um, oh, I'll talk to you about it in a second. Well, the point was what, negative 5, negative 2? All right, so it says evaluate the six trigonometric functions, right? So obviously, six trigonometric functions, we know we can apply the unit circle. However, unless we have a point that's not on the unit circle. And remember, the unit circle has a radius of 1. So is this point uh, label on the unit circle? No. No. Because the unit circle has a radius of 1. This is obviously past the radius of 1. So therefore, we have to create a what, Samantha? Thank you, Samantha. You have a very deep voice. It is a what? <laughs> triangle. So I create a triangle, and I just find the coordinate point, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Negative 2. Always remember when creating your triangle that you create a line that is going to be perpendicular to your x-axis. And that's going to create a central angle, meaning the ang central angle is going to be from our origin. All right? Negative 2, negative 5. Now the only thing we need to do is figure out what our hypotenuse is. So I'll use apply the Pythagorean theorem. So negative 2 squared plus negative 5 squared equals um, c squared, I'll call our hypotenuse c. So therefore, that's 4 plus 25 equals c squared. 29 equals c squared. Square root, square root. c equals um, square root of 29. Remember, our hypotenuse is always going to be a positive length. We're not, we don't need, and we didn't introduce the square root, so it's not positive or negative. So now, we just need to evaluate our six trigonometric functions. So as you guys are very familiar, I don't need to go over the opposite over hypotenuse, because we did that in the last homework quiz. So sine, remember, is opposite over hypotenuse. So here's our angle, right? It's always a central angle. So that's going to be negative 2 over the square root of 29. I'll simplify in a second. Cosine of theta equals negative 5 over the square root of 29. And tangent of theta equals uh, negative 2 over negative 5. All right, obviously, to simplify, guys, we have to rationalize the denominator. So my final answer is negative, negative 2 squared of 29 over 29. This is going to have the same thing when I rationalize the denominator, negative 5 squared of 29 over 29. This now turns 2 positive, so it's going to be 2 fifths. The next one, it says this six trigonometric functions. So now I'm going to have cosecant of theta, which is just going to be the reciprocal of this, which is square root of 29 over negative 2. That's done. Secant of theta equals square root of 29 over negative 5. And that's done. And then tangent, or cotangent, I'm sorry, is just going to be reciprocal of our final answer, which will be 5 halves. OK? So go ahead and give you guys cell